Hey guys, the Bro Society here. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Nerf and Strike Elite Rampage. I've got the Sonic Eyes Rampage with me today. It's the same thing. I just got them so I can so we can see the distance between both of them. It's the only other thing. So, um, I'm gonna show you guys how to operate this blaster, how to fire it, and how and pros and the pros and cons. So, to start off, how you operate it is ju just like my last video with um, all the other clip systems, you load the dart with the way the arrow goes. Just like any other Nerf gun with the clip system. Alright, and then you slide that. Well, you gotta have it cocked back. And then you put the clip in, you pull it forward, and you pull the trigger. Now, there is slam fire. Where you hold down the trigger and you just go bam, bam, like da -da 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 -da, like that all the way. Alright, so that's pretty much how you operate the blaster. The blaster takes the new N Strike Elite darts. This is one of the second or third blasters. No, this is the, one of the first or second blasters of the N Strike Elite line. Um, these are pretty cool darts. They go very far. Um, the thing's got, um, the blaster has two tactical rails, so you can p put on the recon light, turn that on, you can shine it. Is that working? And, or, you, or you can put it on the far tactical rail back here. See, I wish the thing had just one big tactical rail instead of that stupid space there. That's the only bummer about this gun is that it sh should have just been one long tactical rail. But I understand why they did that because of the locking mechanism. It has to be there. So, yeah, I guess it's okay. But the pump handle, so you pull it for the, I, I showed you how to do slam fire. I just didn't want to fire at the darts so when you have it for that. But here's how you really use slam fire. So hold down the trigger. And just go. Like that. Um, I really love this gun. Um, it's, a, it's actually my primary. You'll see it a lot in the videos. The Nerf videos. You'll see my, you'll see my custom combo a lot. For episode one. And yeah, so now let's get on to the jam door. So when you cock it back, you, you can open up the jam door to de-jam your gun. Just like every other gun, that you cock it forward, the jam door goes with it. So right here is how you get out your clip. So pretend it's cocked forward. I load it. I cock it back. Right here, there's a button right here that you just release. And as the dart, every it's jammed, there's this black button right here. I don't know if you can see it, but you buy it right here by the orange one where you where you unhook your clip. You press that, and you put it like this, and uh, the jammed dart will may just fall out. Same with this. All the same other things, stuff like that, and... Um, yeah, same gun, same gun, but on this, it's got a stack, it's got a stock attachment. This is how you'll see me in the video. Like that, I love the retaliator stock, it's so comfy. Although I wish I had the Raider stock. So yeah, now for pros and cons. Um, pros are, it's got an extra dart storage on the bottom of both of these blasters, one sling attachment, and two tactical rails, and very high ammo capacity, 25 darts. Cons are, it jams sometimes, um, right here, look, the rod's bent a lot from slam fire, that the thing doesn't meet up all the way to the end like it does when it's new, well I guess it kind of does, but... Yeah, I got, it's not, like, when you got it new, it's, like, all the way up now. It's not, like, that much away. But, yeah, um, that's pretty much the cons. Um, oh, yeah, and another con is it didn't come with a stock. So 
you have to use Retaliator stock. But if any of you guys have the Raider stock on there, um, Nerf Soak them. They use that stock. Um, Adam uses that stock a lot on on um, Nerf Soak them for his primary, the Rampage. It's also my favorite. He he used the Raider stock. I mean, I wish I had that. It's the one where you snap it on, you can adjust it. It's basically this blaster, but just it, that was part of the end strike line. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the pros and cons for both guns. Um, let's go on over to our firing range. So I've got different darts in here. I've got blue darts in here, green green darts in here. I'm gonna fire the blue darts first. I'm gonna do five normal and five slam fire. Okay, now we're going to do five the same way. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, let's go look at the ranges. So right here we have our first blue dart here at 32 feet. Our first blue dart's there at 32 feet. Here we got, here we got our first green dart at about, at about 34, 35 feet. Here we have our last green dart at about 45 feet. Our last blue dart at 49 feet. There's our last green dart at 45. And there's our last blue dart at, four, fifth, at 49 feet. Let's go back to where we shot it. And I'll tell you the results of all of them. So, um, the blue rampage is our winner. The highest amount, 49 feet. Um, yeah, um. It's a pretty, I, re, I highly recommend you getting this blaster instead of this blaster because this one, just a, it's a whole different, it's a whole different copying mechanism. Like, um, this one seems a little softer when you cock. This one seems a little harder when you cock. That's probably the difference because this is the original Rampage, this is the remake of the Rampage. So, yeah. Um,. Yeah, uh, so, thanks for watching, remember to subscribe, um, who's the man, we're the man, this is Alex, this is the Bro Society, this is Alex on the Bro Society, signing out.